I've been using Filmora for a couple of years now, and last week I put it to the real test. I used it to edit and color grade a cinematic travel sequence. Like this sequence. I think it looks amazing, so I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. This quick Filmora tutorial will cover speed ramps, music, sound effects, color grading, and even a touch of AI magic, because that's the hype at the moment. So, let's jump right in and get started. Alright, first you need to add your recorded footage to Filmora. As you can see, I've already added my clips here. I've also included a few background music tracks. If you're looking for copyright safe background music, I recommend these channels to get safe tracks for your videos. The channel links in the description, you can check that later. Next, I've arranged the clips in a way that I think will flow nicely once it's finished. Of course, you can still switch and move clips around as needed. I've also placed some music on my timeline right here. Now, let's start editing. The first thing I want to show you is how to match your clips to the audio beat. This is super easy to do with Filmora's cool feature called, Auto Beat. It uses AI to show you where the beats of your music track are. You can do this in most editors these days, but Filmora makes it really easy. I've already done this, so let me show you how. First, select your audio layer. Right-click and select the Smart Edit tool, then choose Beat Detection. This will add a few markers, but they might not match your needs perfectly. Right-click again, go to the same path, and this time select the Beat option. This will open up a new window. In this window, you can select Beat 1 or Beat 2, I selected beat 1 and changed the settings to highlight every single beat, which added more beat markers like this. Now you can start cutting and trimming your clips to match the beat. Remember, you don't have to make cuts on every beat, as it can feel too robotic. Where you make cuts depends on what you want to show and what you think feels good and flows nicely. Alright, the next thing I want to show you is the speed ramp. In this clip, it's going at normal speed, but I want to increase the speed at the end. So, how do you create a speed ramp? First, click on the video clip. Up here, go to speed. You'll see basic settings to speed up or slow down the clip, but to make a speed ramp, we need to go to curves. You can use one of the presets if you find one you like, but I prefer using custom settings. This way, I can tweak and adjust the speed ramp to match the pace of the music perfectly. Here's how it works. If I drag this point up, it will speed up that part of the clip. If I drag it down, it will slow down that part. To create the speed ramp I want, normal speed for the first part of the clip, then speeding up at the end, I just drag the end point up and adjust this point accordingly. If you want to remove any of these points, simply click the minus icon right here. Alright, so this part of the clip is at normal speed, and now here it starts speeding. You can tweak it however you want. The best way to learn how to create a nice speed ramp, is by practicing. Alright, the next step is adding sound effects. These little extras can really take your video to the next level. First, I like to add whoosh effect to this speed ramp. You can download this whoosh sound effect through the link in the description. It makes the speed ramp feel a bit more dramatic. You can easily find more sound effects in the sound effects section in Filmora. For this sequence, I added some beach and ocean sounds throughout. To add your sound effects, simply drop them on a new track under the music. You can also use auto normalization to balance all the sound effects with your background music. So you can play around with the settings until everything sounds amazing. And then, the cherry on top is color grading. Do you have to color grade? No, of course not. If you like the colors of your original footage, just leave it as is. But if you want to personalize it, make it look cinematic. First you need to add a new adjustment layer to the timeline. You can extend the layer as needed. Alright, let's see how to make the sequence cinematic. Go to the filters tab and pick one you like. For this sequence, I chose Mad Maxim. Drop it onto the adjustment layer, and you'll see it already look cinematic. You can fine-tune the filter's strength as needed, but it still might not look exactly how we want. 
Now let's tweak the colors manually. Select the adjustment layer first, then go to the color section. In the basic tab, you can make basic adjustments. For example, I want to reduce the warmth a bit, so I'll bring the temperature value down to around minus 20. I also like to increase the saturation a bit, so I'll bring it up to 20. Next, let's go to the curves tab. Here, we have four curves. The first one is the brightness curve, which affects the whole image. The bottom of the curve represents the shadows, the middle represents the mid-tones, and the top represents the highlights. For example, if I pull down the curve at the bottom, it will darken the shadows. If I drag it up, it will brighten the shadows. Let's drag it up a little, and I'll do the same for the highlights to adjust contrast. You can tweak every part of the image however you want. And that's how you can make your footage look cinematic. Finally, let's talk about adding effects and transitions. These elements can really elevate your video and give it a polished, professional look. In Filmora, there are many great effects, transitions, and text effects available. You can add them to your video based on your own taste in the story you want to tell. To add an effect, go to the Effects tab. Browse through the options and find one that suits your video. Also the transitions, here you'll find a variety of options like dissolves, wipes, and slides. To apply a transition, drag it between two clips on your timeline. This can help smooth out cuts and make your video flow better. Text effects are also a great way to add information or enhance the visual appeal of your video. So choose a style you like and drag it to your timeline. You can customize the text, font, size, and color to match your video's theme. Experiment with different effects and transitions until you find the combination that feels just right. Use these tools to enhance your story, not distract from it. So, play around with the effects, transitions, and text effects until you find what looks and feels great for your video. So guys I hope you liked the tutorial and found it helpful. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and help you out. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.